What's up, folks? I am playing Nuki. He has less points than me, actually. Strong tournament. A lot of GMs. Tons with minus scores in this tournament because it's just so strong. Moving D4. Please. Okay. I used to like this line. I'll go h3 and knight f3. I coined for some very quick queenside, um, queenside play. Ah, uh, okay, I'll do c5. Now what? Now what? Uh... Is this any good? Or 94 looks good. Can't do that. I don't know what to do. Bishop. Queen d2? Okay. e6 with the idea of knight e7 to f5 again? This is what all these jerks do. It's like really annoying. Go away, Rook. You know what, though? I can just play uh, d4 and b5 next move. Let's see why not. Rook a6 is interesting. Whoa. Whoa, baby. Stopping Rook to b5 now. My plan is b5. Oh, he can... No, he can't do anything too special, right? I don't know. Oh, he's sacking exchange. Okay. Start with this move. Yes, although I put all my rooks in a bad bag now. Can't go knight of five now. Provalactics! So I'm up the exchange, but it's like a little clumsy. Uh, now he's threatening my pawn, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm not giving him a draw. Knight d4? No. Bishop d4? That looks horrible. I'll go queen d2 next move, I guess. Oh no, but that's ugly. What do I do? Queen a3. No. I don't know what to do. He wants to go knight f5 and is really annoying me. Should d3, I guess. Stop knight f5. Hmm. I think I lose the exchange. If I don't take, some annoying stuff happens, but it's not that annoying. I don't know what else to do. Why am I so obsessed with this move, Rook to, uh, <laughs> Rook to C1? He's gonna go back to... A7, maybe? And then I'm gonna go Rook C5, I think. Nice and cozy. I'm gonna take this and hope for the best, man. Uh, I think I'm gonna take it once. Oh, maybe not. D2, and then, oh my god, everything's annoying. Can't find a good move. Alright, I give up. This is, like, this is like really ugly, though. Sack exchange? Seriously? Jesus Christ. Queen D2, Bishop F3? Oh, it's so horrible if I don't. That was really bad. I can't believe this happened to me. Did not deserve this fate. B5 is forcing Bishop F1. Alright. Uh, I'll do this. Oh, um. What do I do? I don't know. He's out on time, also, which is bad. And 
Google Chat. A little more loose. Can't believe it. Uh, I don't know what to do. My bishop on c4 next move. If he lets me, which he doesn't. I have to play faster. I'm running out of time. How do I eat? Oh, I thought it said 10 seconds. I got confused. I don't know how that... It made that little noise that said I had no time. I thought it meant 10 seconds, so I panicked immediately. But it's actually... I have freaking 20 seconds left still. Plenty of time. I didn't do that. I went to go rookie 5, but whatever. What a sad way to end this tournament. Oh, how do I get stalemated? It's probably unlikely, right? Uh, it's not totally impossible. Well, no, it is. Hmm. Let me make a check first. Alright, I lose. That was a shame. Uh, so there's no more rounds, so first let's see who's... Let's see the other games. I mean, this one guy is winning, but he's probably... I just assume we're... I already predicted before the tournament that whoever wins is cheating. Let's see who this guy is, first of all. Secret Petrosian from um, Armenia. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you might not be cheating. But... Checking off screen. His rating is 2600, so I mean, it's, it's possible he could do really well, I guess. Russia's tournament though. Who's JC Ibarra? What's my final score? Man, I suck. I was doing so well at the start, and then then I had some rough a rough string. It all started when I lost to Lawrence Trent. That was bad. It was a bad game. Like some of the losses were not so bad. Like this last one, and there's some other games I lost on time in stupid positions. But that game I just kind of like never never really was in the game. Let's see how I'm mean, probably finish behind Finns because where he is. Oh, I beat him! Thank Jesus. Let's take a photo of that real quick. Quick photo of the standings. Oh, I'm still recording this? Uh, hey, everyone, thanks for watching. You know, this game was annoying because... I mean, it definitely had a good position. But you see this tournament very strong. Like, um, lots and lots of GMs with uh, four points or less. Why does the standings not go right? Shanklin withdrew after he lost to me. That was nice. Oh, no, he won. He played another game or two. God, I had to win that last game, though, to get even. And then I would have been doing... You know, like Delugi got an even score. Like a lot of really strong players got even scores. Eric Hansen, 6 out of 11. The guy I drew in the first round. Let's see how the people I played did. Did anyone I played do really well? Lawrence Trent somehow, 7.5. Hmm. Oh well. I don't want to print screen because it's going to print the whole screen. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed these three-minute games against non-stop GMs. And how many GMs did I play? Eight? Eight out of 11, I think. Maybe just seven. But it was a fun tournament. Fun competition. Only took an hour and a half, which is great. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.